Yo! <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's Ray Drill. Before I get to the video, a couple things that I want to say. For one, I'm so glad that all of y'all are here with me. I'm glad all of y'all are checking out my video, even if you're not sub. And real quick, if you enjoy what I do, uh, just please drop a like. It'll mean a whole lot to me. And then drop a sub as well. Turn on post notifications. Now, I'm about to be at 600 subs. So I'm about to be doing a 600 sub giveaway. And it's going to be a, a $10 PS4 card. And then when I do my next giveaway, it's going to be an Xbox. So be on the lookout for that. And real quick, uh, I want to show y'all my update on my uh, Connected Franchise League. All right, so real quick, I just want to show y'all the update on now. Right now, I currently have 18 people that are in here. So spots are kind of filling up fast. You can see we got Golden Mills, which I know y'all should know who Golden Mills is. He's a, a very good YouTuber, and he's in here, so he's going to be promoting that. He's going to be doing things on his channel. So if you really want to get your name out there, I suggest please sign up. It's only $5, and I'm going to link the video to it right here. So go ahead and check out the description. Everything you need to know is uh, in there. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the split close pats, and keep in mind this will also work for the uh, the Miami version of this. I forgot the exact name of. It. I think it's split close Miami. It might be, but it'll work uh, the same way. Now you want to have three receivers, and you see how we got tight end in there. Uh, we want to change that. So you go to packages, and keep scrolling over till you see strong slots, and then you want to take your. Uh, Click on Tyler Lockett and then click Josh Gordon and then put Tyler Lockett back. And I like to have my fastest receiver where DK Metcalf is. So go ahead and put DK Metcalf in that spot. And remember, don't touch this spot right here. Because if you touch this spot right here and you put anybody else in, then you won't have three receivers and you won't be able to do it for like the rest of the game pretty much. So uh, since this has a lot of beaters, it, this is a really, really great formation. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and come out on X Drag Trail, and that's the only play I'm gonna touch on. I'm gonna show y'all different ways to set up X Drag Trail. So on defense, uh, for now, uh, I'm just gonna come out and cover three actually. Now let me mention one thing before I show y'all my setups. Just like I just said, my setups. That means that some of these setups that you see, uh, you might have seen somewhere else, or maybe you seen somebody else do it. So I don't want y'all to think that I'm just pulling from somebody. This is why I always show y'all game field because this is stuff that I like to do because this is a very popular formation. So I'm sure some of these setups that I'm about to show you, maybe somebody else has a video about somewhere, you know. I can only show y'all what I know. So with that out the way, uh, my first setup that I like to do is just simple. I just like to block the running back. Now with this, uh, I like to look at square to X and then triangle late. So what I like to do, I like to double team uh, this left side because if the user follows that drag, I wanna throw uh, David Moore's route. So I like to come over here and bait the drag and then work my way back and I can throw it right there in that little gap. So let me show y'all the same play, and this time we're gonna go against cover two. So that way y'all can know that um, you can make that throw on a cloud flat as well. So let me just go do the same setup, block the running back, double team this uh, left end over here. Now, like I said, I like to roll left to make the user think I'm gonna go there, and then come back right, and then you can throw that up. I know it looks like it's a hard pass, but you can fit that in there, I promise. All right, my second setup that I really like to do, I like to take square, I like to put them on a hitch, and then I'll take circle, and I'll put circle on the hitch, and then I'll block my running back. Now, this setup is really great because it's gonna pull down cover three zones on this left side, and this right side, it'll also get triangle open too. And I like to go ahead and take circle and motion them like this. So it's gonna snap the ball. Normally you wanna double team somebody, but I forgot to that play. See how X still gets open right there? All right, so real quick, I kind of want to show y'all uh, what it looks like this other side because I just showed y'all with the um, with the cover three on his left side. Let me show y'all what it looks like with cover two because cover two, you can throw that no problem. But I'm going to go ahead and put circle on the hitch and I'm going to put uh, Tyler Lockett on the hitch like this so it'll look like this. Now, watch what happens in cover two. 
Now let's go and get the double team. Now, for some reason, my running back got bumped right there, but you see how much of a tight window that is? I'm gonna show y'all how to make it to where it's a good throw. All right, now let me show y'all what the same play looks like, but with cover two. So what you'll notice is that since we have a deep person, we're, ha we're gonna have a deep person that pushes that zone back. So we're gonna streak uh, Tyler Lockett and we're gonna put DK Metcalf on the hits like this and we're gonna block our running back. Now you don't really need to roll out for these. I've just been rolling out just because. So let me show you what happens when you stand in the pocket. Uh, let me see if I can get it. You see how the cornerback dropped and you can throw it in that window? Now for the next setup that I'm gonna show y'all, you're gonna take Tyler Lockett, you're gonna put him on a hitch route. You're gonna take DK Metcalf, you're gonna put him on a flat route like this. And I like to re-wheel my running back like this. And now if you know they're if you know they're not sending pressure like a base four like this, then uh, I like to go ahead and leave um my running back on his angle route because that could hold the user in the middle. Because the user had to choose between uh David Moore or uh I forgot his name, Carson. I can't remember his first name for some reason. But anyway, they make you choose between that. So right now I'm gonna leave this. But if you feel like you're getting blitzed, then just block your running back. So you're gonna take DK Metcalf, motion him out. Now on this, you're gonna have this wheel route because that flat route is gonna pull the zones. So I'll show y'all that right there. Now remember, you just wanna hit your um, hitch tie to lock it. Take DK Metcalf, put him on a flat. And I like to re wheel my running back, and then you can just run it just like this. Now I'm gonna show y'all this. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all this left side too as well. So you see, we get a good block right there. See how he pulls down? Are you able to throw that right there? Now, I saved this part of the video towards the end so you can see all the beaters for last. I didn't want to show those first. So, for cover three beater, you actually have two ways you can beat it. You can run it stock and it'll technically work, but it's a whole, it's, it's a lot harder to get open. You really need to buy a lot of time. So, a quicker way of getting this play open versus cover three is just taking David Moore and you motion him over. Now, if, they, if you think they might blitz that slot corner, you want to double team this end and ID this, uh, not him. ID this person right here and block uh, Carson if you feel like they're gonna uh, blitz him off the edge now if you know they're not then I like to just block my running back on the right side and now what happened is you you can make the user choose between uh, Carson or guard the cover three bomb because see I could throw Carson if I wanted to but if I stop and wait and throw that I got a bad pass lead but you can see it's gonna be a one play touchdown Now I went ahead and moved the ball over because when you run this, um, when you run the uh, cover two beater, you want to be your solo receiver wants has to be on the wide side of the field, just how I have it. So, what you want to do is real simple. You want to streak, uh, Tyler Lockett, or you can put him on an out route. I personally like the streak. I feel like that gets open a lot better, but you can out route him too, and then. You take uh, DK Metcalf, you motion him over. Now, before I motion him over, I want to show you what I do for the rest of it. So, David Moore, you don't really need him. So, I like to put him on a um, hitch route. And now, this hitch route is going to do great because a hitch route to angle route combo is going to... That angle route is going to get over the top of any purple or clouds with this setup right here. So, I like to just uh, motion over DK Metcalf. It's going to look like this. And now, what you'll notice is... Watch how the cornerback on the right, he's just going to completely leave him. Actually, on the left. And if you get a good animation, which I didn't... It'll be easy catch. All right, so let me just show y'all uh, with cover two again because I hate uh, I hate when I don't get a good example like that where it's something I can't control. So just take X, uh, put him on the um, hitch, you streak your uh, outside single receiver over here, tie to lock it, and then you're gonna take circle, motion him over, and you can block um, R1 if you want. Um, it's up to you. So watch how he's gonna get in that little gap. You're gonna wait for him to pull off and you'll be able to throw it like that. And if you get the timing down right, normally you can get a one play touchdown. So on defense, I went ahead and chose cover four quarters. 
because a lot of times some people think that quarters will do a good job uh, matching all these routes on the field. But a lot of times you can run this stock and just uh, completely uh, destroy cover for quarters. Now, as you can see, uh, look at X. See how X just got wide open. All right, so the next one I want to show y'all is this cover for palms. Now, this is cover for palms. Now, what a lot of people, if if your if your opponent is using um, let me go back on defense. If your opponent is using maybe this three rec or this quarter flat or anything like that, he's not really using their safeties and not messing with the safeties. Let me kind of show you uh what happens. So let's take Tyler Lockett and put him on a streak, and that's literally all you have to do. Now, watch Tyler Lockett right here. Watch how the cornerback's gonna drift outwards, and he's like, oh crap, that's my man right there. And look how much separation that gets. And that's against uh, Humphreys versus uh, Tyler Lockett. So, what that's gonna cause your opponent to do, uh, let me show you, I'm still in cover for uh, Palm. So, it's like, what that's gonna cause your opponent to do is have to press. So, now let me show you, well, pressing it to take that away most of the time, because a lot of times uh, Tyler Lockett they get bumped crazy. But, with this right here, you can run it just like this. Now, you wanna read the angle route, to this post route by X because you want the user to come down for a second on this angle route now because you gonna see you get broken you can roll out and look there's nobody out there I got sacked but there's nobody out there so versus cover six and like cover nine you can run the same exact things um I'm not gonna show y'all because I don't want this being like a 15 16 minute video so with that being said man that's gonna wrap it up for this video and part two I'm gonna show y'all uh, I'm probably gonna go over either PAY shot or wide receiver corners and I'll show y'all all the possible setups that I run out of it. So if y'all enjoyed this video man drop a like on it, um, comment, let me know if y'all got any questions or anything, sub if you're new because this is the type of content that I love to do, I love to give y'all tips, I love to make y'all better Madden players. So with that being said man y'all have a blessed day, I'm Rage Real and I'm